Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Atlantean Phoenix, and welcome back to our next Amnesia series, Penumbra Necrologe. This is another full conversion mod that has high ratings. So, let's get into it and see what it's all about. And only you decide what to do with this story. To consider it ravings of a madman. Or a horrible fate of a friend. Fate that you wouldn't wish on your enemy. Penumbra Necrologe. I'm keen. Everyone can plan one step ahead, but it does not mean that everything happens the way you've predicted. I expected to find my father to learn all his secrets, but I was too late. With my own hands, I killed all of my friends. I did not even get to see them. Only the annoying, duplicitous voice never left me, always irritating the unhealed wounds of my soul. And finally, I found a way to destroy it, but even that was not the end. Tungate is the reason for everything that has happened to me. It showed me its world and started to trust me, but I betrayed it. It was yet another of my mistakes. Surviving all this miraculously didn't make me lose my mind, but now I feel like I'm going insane after all. Ooh, fire! Cool. Bit of story. We do appreciate that. Monkey. Monkey. Monkey! Nope. Monkey! Monkey, are you there? <sighs> you finally woke up. You brought a little surprise and I'm back in your head. I'll say you frankly, if I do something other than what you want, it isn't because I want to kill you. Yeah, I keep saying that you're too stupid to live because you're a brainless amoeba. But hey, think for yourself. If I wanted to kill you, I would do it as easy as I did with your blithering friend Swanson. Don't you forget that I'm in control of your senses? And now listen carefully. I am sick of sitting in your loggy head. Now I still prefer to go forward, not sit still. Go ahead, monkey. Hey, come on, man. Don't have to call me monkey. Not yes, I need to think. Very nice. Well, I will have this. It does not give any light at all. That's not very helpful, is it? Whoa, that's cool. Got like a little bag. I'm losing blood, but I should be okay. Oh god. Oh my god. I'm so glad you're alive. I didn't hear a word from you for a whole day, or so. I'm so glad you're all right. Sorry, but I have to move constantly. That's why we haven't met yet. By the way, it turns out that I'm not infected. I left a note for you back then. It was so silly of me. I'm sorry. And yes, a notification from the main core of the shelter yesterday came on my computer. Well, on the computer which is near me. It appears that someone summoned some kind of expedition, and they're searching for survivors right now. They're sending a signal to all computers in the station, to people like me and you. Don't lose hope, and immediately move to them. So, I hope very much that we'll finally meet, and then I'm going to kiss you. Good luck. I'm sure it helped you before. Hell yeah! Get some goddamn action! Eh, uh, you know, 
Actually, your eyes are not deceiving you. Either you believe me or not. Yes, I've played a little with you, but only at the very end. And if I did this at the beginning, we both wouldn't be here now, would we? So take my word for it. It is a great pleasure to see how you're suffering and writing in pain. But I don't want to disappear just because of your stupid monkey can understand simple jokes. What the heck? I think he's saying he wants to fight. Well, chef, move. Everything feels like heavy. Like, it's like the gravity's changed on them. Chairs were a lot lighter in the other game. Okay, open! It's collapsed. Okay. We'll just keep going through here. There. Ah! Excuse me. Anything in here? No. Great. Ah! My biggest fan! That was horrible. I'm sorry. I apologize. Even if I did remember the combination, there is no more antidote left. Do I need antidote? Oh! I'll take go out this door. My head keeps spinning. Where did Clarence come from? Is Amabel, Amabel or really alive? These questions are stuck in my mind. There is only one thing that is perfectly clear. I'm alive and I've got a chance for salvation. So, based on the fact that you're infected and I'm the most reasonable person here, I can surely say this corridor's changed a bit. Let's play. You find the way without my help, and I'll give you a shiny penny. I do like pennies. Ah, you're lovely. Not really, but... What was that? What is that? Hello? Walk around. Oh god, a loot. That is definitely something. I don't know what that is. Oh, lovely. Oh god. Okay, it's turned around. I want to know what it is. What the heck? It's nothing. It was fake spoops to get me. Okay.
One of these times it's going to be something. I'm waiting for it. Yeah, I wonder what happened here. How about Spoop Central happened? Okay, let's continue the spooks. Hello. I like spooks. The forward. My name is Bolton Rolly. Until now, I've been dutifully doing my job despite the risk and danger. I haven't managed to get far away. All that's left for me is to hide in my apartment. I worked in the examination room. My task was to study the organisms which were found during the expeditions. The horror began with the infection outbreak the day we opened the Tunigate tomb. At first they brought me a couple of dogs which were found in the old iron shafts during an expedition to search for a new passage to the tomb. After examining them, I found that they were subject to some sort of mutation. Everything looked so unusual that I could not determine the cause right away. After a while, the infection passed on to humans. A small community which had been united by one goal which took decades fell apart entirely in a few months. This nightmare lasted six months and is still going on today. One day, they brought me a corpse of an infected human. It's a lot of reading. Batteries. Batteries. Okay. Listen. I need to find a way out. It looked like a way up. Yeah, it would be locked. So I saw the other light. Which I now know is fakey fakey. Oh! Away! Hello! Hello! Okay. Well, let's see what else we can find. Hello. Oh, the haunted toilets. What have you done? I did nothing. I'm going to leave. No. Now listen, you nasties are going to get up. Uh, I don't trust that. Ugh! Nasty. Now y'all are gonna get up in a minute. Okay, I lifted that. Good sounds, good squeak. Cool. You can just... No. All the way shut. Thanks. You got anything for me? I cannot die twice. I don't know. Put in a little bit of effort, maybe. Um, let's close this. I didn't need Spoopy Man coming in here. Is this a photo? Hiya, hiya, hiya. Click. Does not work. Open. Alright, so this area was a waste of time. Okay. Hello? Oh, there's that wall from before. I remember looking there but never going there because I was terrified. That's fine. We'll just go up here. We'll see what is happening. Hmm. Phenomenal. Batteries! Thank you! Thank you, Mr. Bin. Too kind. Can I break down the brick wall, dude? Oh! No, but I can get you stuck in it. You know that. Damn it. I have to walk all the way back around. Oh. 
South exit. One. That's what I want. Ah, so I can't exit there. Ah, so I want... I've been in the research lab. Hmm. Okay, so the kennel. Okay. Let's go see what we can find at the kennel. Stop it. I don't like you doing the light thing. It's not funny. Ah. Well. We ain't going there, that's for sure. Let's see what else. Don't do it. Thought I was going to do the light thing again. Cozy. Very lovely. Hmm, this is where you're chilling. Chilling like a villain. Examination room, that's where I came from. Chemical laboratory. Ugh. This is where I want to go. Hello. The only thing I can think of is seeing if I can climb out is this window. Can I use the hook and rope here? I didn't think it would be this simple. Never mind, it is this simple. Mm, nothing's over there good. Oh! <laughs> well, wasn't what I expected. Quite unfortunate. Lovely. Great. It's frozen. I can't do it with my bare hands. Ah, oh, hello. Well. Well, I'm sorry, Benjamin. You. you could take it. Yeah, I can. Ah, I just needed to jump. Just needed to jump. Come on now, jump. Come on now, jump, 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 jump. Come on now, jump. Come on now, jump. Come on now, jump, 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 jump. Come on now. Hello. Let's just charge this bad boy. Oh, it's like a battery does half of the. Who are the down? I don't. I guess it's getting deeper and deeper at some moment. I've started to think that this facility is endless. My hope began to fade. I found myself where I've never s been before. Whatever awaits me there remains to be seen. Mm. Nothing happens. Fascinating. Can I? I cannot. Wow. Ooh, this looks like a good hidey hole. I hope I won't need one. Um, I need to lower the water level in the flooded part of the sewer. Indeed, I agree. Multiple hidey holes. I don't like hidey holes. Is that or not? Thank you. Ah, soldering iron. In the news of the epidemic reached my workplace, fortunately, but blue. I finally got it. The radio. Great. They died. There's a hole in the wall. Thank God I closed the door. It's jammed. Part of me is thankful that it's Jack. Alrighty. Well then. Maybe I need to use the wire on this. No, not quite right. Oh. 
bunnies. Hmm. What made me think these could go together? My huge brain. That's what, buddy. Watch yourself. It does open, I'm done. Really? This, this, this is one door that I don't mind being locked. Ah, no, no, listen, someone's struggling and they need help. Oh, what are you? I want you. A capacitor. Can these go together? These go together again. Yeah, okay. Nothing goes together. I get it. I get it. Nothing. Cool. Can I use the capacitor here? Oh, maybe in this very locked and sealed room. Uh, I wonder if I could bury the very capacitor. Uh, a wire. A soldering iron. Uh, this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only thing I have left is this. What does it say? Maybe I need something else. It's in here, isn't it? I'm just a damn fool. What? What? Did it work? <laughs> Hooray! I managed to do it! I hope they will not find about it sooner than needed. Philip, hi. Brace your companion, who, despite all the hardship, does not break the thread of friendship. Just do not worry and do not drown in your own poop. You've helped me twice, and I will not deny you my help, my friend. You can think of me as your guardian angel, saving you from the clutches of demons and reapers of justice. Your guests are circulating like the juice inside trunk of consciousness and the shadows are putting, taking roots in its foundations. But I'm sorry, I cannot talk very long. I've only got three minutes to get out of here. Goodbye, pal. Words of absolute wisdom being bestowed hey, upon me. can anyone hear me? We've come to save you. We found that someone survived on the station. We'll try to fight for your lives. My name is Julia Kwan. I'm an operator, and I'll report you of our movements whenever I can. Stay in touch. Oh, I can see your words gently tickling your ears. But wait! Don't you think that you've gotten yourself in a very stupid situation? You've got a virus inside you which can make everything out of you. And you decided to go to your fellow aides. You want them to scare them away. And don't you afraid to be tied and thrown on the operating table and starting to mess around with your brains till they understand that they were wasting their precious time on you? <laughs> They'll do it. And I take care of it if you suddenly forget and that the Uncle Clarence prefers to live away from the menageries with foolish, undisciplined macaque. Yeah, let me just jump out. That's off. Awesome. It's jammed. Awesome. Cool. Well. I think this has been a very productive episode. We've had our share of laughs, our share of fun. 
but um, I think this is where it ends. And I need to get in here. But that's in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye gamers.